Hey, what is going on everybody? Clickwood here back again with another episode of the Road to the Show series here with Benny the Jet Rodriguez on MLB 15 The Show. And the last time you guys saw it, we were actually making our minor league debut as part of the Frisco Rough Riders. And guys, we did pretty well in our first game, but we're definitely looking to make some improvements. Hitting 8th here in this game against the Arkansas Travelers. And we're going to get things started here in the infield here, playing shortstop again. Benny the Jet Rodriguez, number three for the Frisco Rough Riders. And he's going to drive on this ball and make a throw over to first base. Nearly sailed that thing over his head, but the first baseman makes a nice catch, saves our ass a little bit on that one. Now the Jet hitting 667, a two for three game in his very first game in the minor league system. Now, guys, we are up to bat right now with a guy on first and second base. Just need to make sure here that we don't strike out. We've got to try and move guys forward here uh, with zero outs here it's kind of important here that we either hit something to the outfield and there it is we're gonna smack one all the way out to the outfield this thing looks like it could be out of the park but not quite He's going to make a good catch on it. Now, the ad advanced runner does get to third base there, uh, so that actually wasn't too bad, but the guy on first base did not get to second, so it, it didn't advance both runners, but still a somewhat effective at bat at least. Not completely terrible, despite the fact that it was a fly out. So now, picking up here in the bottom of the third, one out, no man on, and we are going to smash this thing out there again to right field and an easy play for the right fielder. We got good contact on it, but we just couldn't drive it far enough, I guess. So uh, 0 for 2 now in this game for the Jet. Stepping up to plate now for the third time in this game in the bottom of the fifth. Two out here. Man on first base. Got to try and take some more pitches here because I'm definitely struggling in that area in this game. I think I've only seen maybe four pitches so far. And this one is going to be an easy one to hold off on down and in. Second pitch of the at-bat here. And notice, guys, my, my players don't really have much in the stealing department which means that I can be a little bit more aggressive at the bat because I don't really have to think that they might potentially steal. And there you go, guys. We are going to get our first hit of the game there down the third base line. The third baseman probably could have made a play on that, but he unfortunately for them did not come up with it. Fortunately for us, though, we'll definitely take our first hit of the game. One for three now in this one. It, it, I wish it would have been a little bit uh, harder of a hit there so it could have potentially gotten to the wall and we could have maybe even gotten a double out of it. But, uh, you know, we'll take the first hit if nothing else. As you guys can see also, if pay attention to the difficulty at the top. People always ask what difficulty I'm playing on. Uh, I'm actually playing on the thing that allows it to kind of go depending on how good you're doing. Now, this is probably my best hit that I had had up until this point. We drive this thing to right center field and I thought that I was going to be able to get three, but somehow... I guess we were thrown out. I like. I thought that I got the triple there. I, I was pretty confident that I got the triple. Tell me what you guys think here. It looks like it's pretty close, but I think I'm in there. I definitely didn't think that I got tagged, but it ended up not mattering. We ended up walking away with the win in that game either way, so wasn't too bad. We, we did go two for four in that game with a double it goes down as and a single. Uh, driving the ball pretty decently. Still no home runs yet. Still no stolen bases. Not really much on the base path so far. I haven't really had much of an opportunity, unfortunately. But in this third game, we're definitely going to have a better opportunity here. So stepping to the plate here, 571 average. As you can see there, the difficulty is now up to the all-star level. I think you have to get like four pluses after it or something like that to get to the next level. Uh, so we're moving forward up to the all-star level here. 93 mile per hour fastball up is kind of too difficult for me to hit. I was expecting a fastball. I thought that I got pretty good contact on that, but he just swung under it for some reason. Next pitch of the at-bat. And again, guys, you guys told me that I should probably try and uh, guess the fastball most of the time so that if it's not a fastball, I can actually pick it up a little bit easier. And that actually worked out for me there because I was not expecting that pitch uh, to be a fast one, and we were able to get good contact on it out to left field. Now, we're on the base paths. Kind of worried about getting picked off here because I really have not had much practice on the base paths. But we're going to take off and run here. The Jet, and there is no throw from the catcher. He got a little bit jumbled there at the plate, and he is unable to even make a throw. Jason Sands just didn't even hold on to the ball. Watch this. He just drops it, and we're able to get to second base very, very easily in this at-bat. So that is our first stolen base of the season. A big swipe there by Benny the Jet. Now, stepping up here in the bottom of the seventh, it's already a seven to one game though in favor of our opponent. So there really isn't a whole lot that we can do here with no men on uh, and I guess no outs at least. So potentially we can get on base here and score and we're gonna take a, this first pitch down and away for an easy 
hold off there. That, I mean, that was an easy ball to not uh, swing on, in my opinion. Like I said, usually I'm able to hold off on the ones down a little bit easier than I am the ones up for some reason. I guess because I'm hoping that I can crush the ones that are up. But here we go. We finally got him to pitch exactly where we wanted. And we're going to hit this thing into the gap between the third baseman and the second baseman for another single, our second of this baseball game. We're two for two now in this one in the bottom of the fifth. Now at first base again, ready to run here. Benny the Jet Rodriguez, he digs in and takes off, and he is actually going to throw the ball this time, but it is not a good throw, and we're able to get in there. Only an okay jump, but I guess we just got the speed to get there. So that is our second stolen base of this game, doing everything that we can right now to potentially come back in this one, but as you can see, the score just isn't, it's not happening. Eight to one right now. It's an easy game for our opponents in this one. We're up there, though. Look at the all-star level progress. We've got two pluses behind it now, getting higher on the difficulty, and uh, uh, this time, we're going to take a pitch down and away. Just, again, trying to make the pitchers pitch as many pitches as I can. But I've mentioned it before. It is so difficult to hold off on pitches that look good, especially fastballs. Like, you just, you really just want to hit everything in this game. And right here, we are going to hit one. And as you can see, sometimes it's just, uh, it doesn't work out for you. You try to get a big swing on it, and it just doesn't go very far. Uh, kind of got thrown in there. I probably shouldn't have swung at that one. It probably would have been a ball. But at least we're two for three in this game. Going to make another play here in the field. An easy throw over there to first base. Another out. I haven't really had to make many big plays in the field. Um, I haven't really had to make any diving plays. or uh, I haven't really even had much of an opportunity to do a double play yet. So I'm hoping that as the difficulty level gets up a little bit higher, we'll have more of an opportunity. Now, in the bottom of the ninth, again, we're two for three in this baseball game right now. That all-star level progress. See, the difficulty does go down and up depending on how good you're doing. So it's, it's kind of cool. I love how they do that. And the pitch is going to be away here here 88 miles per hour with the slider and guys I'm just holding off trying to hit one here as you can see he's up to 121 pitches I know he's tired I I know that he's not throwing with full velocity right now and that is an 85 mile per hour fastball so I'm definitely hoping that I can get a piece of this thing with two men on here in the bottom of the night try and be the catalyst for something and the, we are going to get the pitch that we're hoping for but we swing just a little bit too early and foul that one away he's thrown three fastballs now it's been two two seam fastballs balls one four seam fastball so I'm definitely expecting another fastball and we get it and this time we are going to hit it oh, again another foul ball just uh, couldn't get enough of it again it's another fastball so we're definitely expecting him to continue to throw fastballs because I just don't think he's going to have the accuracy with this many pitches to actually get it into the strike zone even. So this time he leaves it over the plate. It was an off-speed pitch, I think, that time. And we're able to smash it out there, getting an RBI, and we're in there for a double. So a decent at-bat there. Definitely scoring a run is always a good thing. Five-pitch at-bat, took a couple of pitches, and uh, definitely successful overall in this game. Three for four. So very, very happy about that performance. But as you guys can expect... With the score the way that it was, we were not able to walk away with the win in this one. But from an individual standpoint, not too bad. We do get three hits in four at-bats, including a double and an RBI. So we're definitely performing at a decent level at this point. Uh, as you can see there, we're still at a 59 overall, but we do have an A potential. So we're going to make some improvements here, trying to improve our contact and power just a little bit. Um, I, I definitely want to make sure that I'm able to, uh, you know, do those two things because I think that they're very, very important in terms of making my play player actually hit the ball more effectively. Playing in the field is more dependent on how good you individually are. Your player is still going to make errors dependent on his attributes, of course, but for the most part, I've found so far that my player will mostly make the plays if I get there. So that's kind of what I need to do, and I just need to make sure that I'm able to get better contact and better power on my hitting. So that's kind of what I've been focused on, as well as improving my speed. That'll probably be the next thing that I do here. So that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button subscribe if you're new and like I always say guys the more likes that I get on this the quicker I'm going to be able to put up the next episode so thank you guys for all of the support I do appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys again soon